Happy Tuesday, guys. So I'm coming to you today with a quick review on how to use adverbs. Last week you had a quiz in Agilastic, and some of you seem to struggle with it. And so I'm going to go over a couple tips and hints, and then you're going to do a review worksheet after this video. So last week, we talked about three types of adverbs, or those were, there were three types of adverbs on the quiz. So there were positive degree adverbs, which refers to one person or one thing. So I could say, um, the table is hard. Then we talked about comparative, which compares two people or two things. And I could say, um, let's not use the table example. Let's talk about, let's use a person. Tom plays harder, meaning he plays harder than someone else. We're comparing how hard the two people are working. And then lastly, the superlative degree compares more than two people or two things. So it could be of the three kids, Tom can play the hardest. So more than two things and you're comparing using the EST ending. And I think that was what confused some of you, the ER and the EST ending. So just a couple hints as you go forward. So some adverbs are going to have that ER or the EST ending, and those are always going to be comparative or superlative adverbs. So they're always going to be more than one object. So if the sentence is talking about more than one thing, comparing two kids, comparing three kids, um, you're always going to, it's always going to end in an ER, EST. The adverbs that are going to end in L-Y have more or most in place in front of them. And this was another one that some of you found tricky. So for example, silently is going to either have more silently or most silently. And to decide which one you're going to use, you just have to really read the sentence and really think about it. Which one of these makes sense? And then some adverbs are irregular which means it's up to that individual adverb. So some examples might be badly, worse, worst. Um, in the English langu language, there are just some words that are irregular, and you know that. We've talked about that before. They don't follow a pattern. They don't follow a rule. So some adverbs also look like adjectives, and that was another part of that quiz last week. You can tell their adverbs if they add meaning to verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs, or if they add meaning to a noun, they're an adjective. So let me repeat that. So if they're an adverb, they're going to add meaning to a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. And if they are an adjective, they're going to add meaning to a noun. So hopefully this little video helped you get that a little more straight. Work on the worksheet. If you have questions, please let me know. We'll continue to work on this. Um, but 